Generic greetings and welcome to Sentinels of the Multiverse. Today's beverage is... <sighs> that is a double concentrated apple and blackcurrant. Or is it apple and blackberry? Mm, I'm questioning myself now. Might even be apple and bramble. Although, to be fair, those fruits may just be the same, just different names based on where you're from. Uh, either way, I don't really care too much because it's quite nice and I've still got the bottle so I can check it out later. Although, I probably still won't care then. Anyway, this is the video game adaptation of the card game of the same name, Sentinels of the Multiverse. A game I've been aware of for many a year, but I've never played any of them, uh, whether it be digital or physical editions. I've seen it on shelves, I've seen it played in its physical form, I've been aware of the multitude of digital editions, whether it be Android or mobile devices, uh, PC, whatever, and I've just never played any of them because I've always assumed that it was a fairly mediocre card game wrapped in a lawsuit waiting to happen from Marvel Studios, and although it might still be the latter, I certainly don't think it's a bad game. In fact, I've been really enjoying it. I picked it up on a whim uh, on um, Android and played it on my tablet about a week ago, and I thought, you know what, this really good so I thought I'd migrate over to PC and uh, try it out. I've bought it, I've installed it and now it is now. I've not actually played a full game in this but I thought you know what I might as well do a video of it and show you what it's like because you might want to see it as well. Hmm. And uh, if you're aware of it and uh, you know, you're know you very experienced with it, you can also see me totally mess everything up. Either way, let's just crack on. We'll go to New Game and we need to select a villain, an environment and between three to five heroes. I normally play with four. Don't know what the variations are and why you would do with, you know, with more or less. Maybe it's more difficult. There's also uh, more advanced uh, or uh, challenge modes and stuff. We're just going to go with uh, the standard mode and we need to select our villain. So they're all very, very... Um <laughs> very, very readable. When you look at what they're, what they're doing, you sort of get what they were based on. It's very derivative in that sense. Um, so we've got Baron Blade, typical evil genius slash mad scientist, Citizen Dawn, sort of cultist leader. Uh, is that Grand Warlord Voss, who is definitely not Thanos? And we've got Omnitron, which is some sort of uh, robot type uh, thing. So we're going to go with that one. And then for environment, you've got uh, Dinosaur... Uh, Dinosaur Peninsula thing, Ruins of Atlantis, uh, some Mars base. I'm just going to go with the dinosaur one because why not? And then we got our heroes. So you've got uh, definitely not Superman mixed with Captain America, definitely not Iron Man, uh, definitely not Psylocke, uh, things like that. Um, actually, I don't know what uh, visionary I'm, I'm guessing, Psylocke. I don't really know. I'm I'm not hugely into, um, into like, uh, comics and uh, superhero stuff, although, you know, I'm... I probably will be more if I if I paid more attention. I probably would be. I mean, I like I, I watch most of my films and DC stuff, but um, can't say I like bought comics. Although I do want some Doctor Strange and um, some Punisher, I think. Anyway, um, anyway. So what we're gonna go with? Uh, we're gonna go for some Legacy. Uh, Legacy is uh, base one. We'll go with probably um, Tempest. We'll go with Bunker, and we'll go with Fanatic, I think. I do want to go with Bunker, no. Let's go Let's go instead with... Tachyon's quite good. Uh, by the way, you can see there's a lot of other extras. These are all ones you can buy, uh, DLC ones. I think the season passes to get multiples, and you get different heroes and environments and villains, and even like a campaign -y type thing, I think. Anyway, I think we'll go with uh, Legacy, Tempest, Fanatic, and... Do I want to try Tachyon or Visionary? Visionary. We'll go with Visionary. Go on then. And even though I'm not very good playing at... Uh, uh, fight. Let's just see what it's like. So, as you can see, we will uh, get the uh, evil floaty eyes thing there. And uh, offensive program online. Destroy all humans. Post-gen generic assimilation points. Uh, yeah, let's continue on. So, comic book style. Turns the page over. Flips it over. And you can see our heroes on the right and the villain on the left. We will click start. And uh, it will start playing cards. So, that's an S83 assault drone. Okay. Uh, it uh, shows you there what's going to happen. Basically, I'm, I'm trying to rampage you. It's gonna, this, is, this is its first turn. It's just going to set up its... Uh, set up its deck really so let's just see what it's doing no environment cards to destroy that was its one shot and we're gonna do we're gonna get already taken damage because why not okay so now it is our turn so the way it works is you will play a card you will uh, then do a power activation and then you will draw a card that is it it's very 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 simple to understand but there is a lot of combos and stuff obviously most of them uh, certainly the more advanced stuff I just won't understand or I've not even experienced so uh, we've also got a health so this is 30 when you got a zero you can still do stuff but it's a bit iffy uh, we are not to defeat this guy we have to just destroy him so he's got 100 health so we can double click on that actually do we need to double click or do we just one click yeah it's double click and you can see Omnitron 100 health and what it does. So, start the villain turn, Omnitron's villain character card flips, Omnitron flips only once each turn, and um, what's the flip side of it? It is... Um 
Oh, you reveal top drone and stuff and then placed. Okay, so he's just going to keep spawning drones. So that's sort of understandable. He's also got an S83 assault drone, which is a device drone. At the end of the villain turn, this card deals the hero target with the highest HP X melee damage, where X is the number of drones in play plus one. So that'll currently uh, do two damage to me, but it's only got four health, so I really want to destroy it. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm guessing someone's going to lightning it, punch it, or hit it with a big sword or something. So we've got uh, multiple options here. We've got um, different cards down the bottom. Like I said, we play one, then we do one of our power abilities, and then draw a card. So we've got a one shot here. So this is the uh, back fist strike. It is uh, deal one target for melee damage. So we could kill that just outright, just punch it one. I've also got ongoing cards, which stay in your play area, which uh, you can activate as a power as your power option. So legacy deals one target, two melee damage, and each hero target regains uh, regains one HP. So just heal everybody for one. I've also got this one here, which is superhuman durability. Whenever legacy would be dealt five or more damage from single source, reduced by three. And then we've got funk, which is uh, <laughs> legacy deals one target, three melee damage, and draw a card. So I think I will, quite frankly, just do a bit of a uh, bit of that. And just punch it one so we're just going to punch that drone and we'll confirm that and here's the strike bang and the drone is now destroyed there we are we now have our power phase so we've only got one power uh, thing to activate which is galvanize so instead of the next turn I will increase all damage dealt by one so all of these guys attacks and stuff will um, get one damage which you might not think is a lot but it does add up across the entire thing so you can immediately see that even the play order is um, is important because um, if I didn't, I didn't have him first, for this first turn, these wouldn't get their extra damage. So we're just going to basically bash this down as hard as possible and see what we get there. So we've got four cards here. We've got one shot, which is draw three cards. We've got equipment decreased damage dealt by Tempest to the villain target with the highest HP by two. And power. Tempest deals each non-hero target two cold damage. I'm going to put this equipment card on here and start um, getting this guy powered up for his Tempest abilities. So I'm going to do the squall here, use the power, and it's uh, basically going to start attacking. The game is, look at all the damage, so Tempest, and then the Shackles, which is plus two, and then another damage for the Legacy, so that, went for, that basically doubled the damage from all that stuff I've placed on there. So, there's that, alright, let's uh, have a beverage first. Hmm. A fanatic, like this character, she's really good, she uh, takes a lot of damage, but also does a lot of damage as well, there's a lot of... Um, well, a lot of that sort of charge forward, hit it hard, get hit back type thing. So we've got Divine Focus. I haven't really commented on the art. Yeah, it's old style comic book stuff. That's what they went for, obviously. Um, with a little flavour text as well. I don't really care for it. Like, I, I, I can take it or leave it, to be quite honest with you. Um, it, it just is what it is. Um, it's certainly, you know, what they were aiming for. I just, uh, don't know. It doesn't just doesn't pop to me, you know. Um, I prefer the look of things like uh, magic and other things, although I don't like the, them games, which is strange. Anyway, uh, ongoing limited. At the start of, uh, the start of every turn, you may discard a card if you do fanatic deals the villain target with the highest HP 2 radiant damage. Hmm. That's quite good, because we can just start discarding cards down. Holy Nova, uh, each hero, non-hero target, one radiant damage, and each hero target gains HP, so we're not going to do that. One shot. One target, two raging damage, draw a card. We're going to do that one. So, going to hit him for three. Because their legacy is galvanized. Yeah. If there's only one target to attack, it's quite smart. And it will only do that. It'll only just atta it'll only attack uh, one target. Otherwise, it'll ask you to do uh, to make choices and stuff. You can also make tell it to do the choices for you, which is quite good as well. So, we're going to do uh, the, the hair power ability, which is exorcism. Uh, deal one target damage, one melee damage, and one raging damage. So this is going to be four in total. Because it's two separate attacks. So, Galvanize. I'll just confirm that there. I don't know why it asks us to confirm. Normally it doesn't, but hey-ho. There we go. There's uh, two melee damage and then two radiant. So, it's already lost 11 health. There you go. That's good. And we just got a final dive card. So, that was Fanatic. So, now it's on to si Visionary. So, Visionary. Uh, so, one shot. Uh, one target, three physical damage. One shot, one shot. Well, they're all one shots here. Obviously, based on the... You can't build the decks, you just get them as, uh, as far as I'm aware in this. In fact, can you look at the deck builder? I think you can. Uh, sorry, you can look at the decks, but I don't think you can build them, you just get them. Um, suggestion. Select two cards from the villain trash, put one of them on the top and one on the bottom. Don't really want to do that. Uh, reveal the top three cards in the environment deck, put one on the top and one on the bottom. Yeah, you can change all the decks. Uh, one shot. Top three cards of the villain deck, put one on the top of the villain deck, two on the bottom of the villain deck, and then do my damage. So, I will... I will... Go for the... Prophetic Vision, so select a card to put on the top of the deck. So we got Dinosaur, or we got the 
uh, Pterodactyl Thieves, which will nick all of our items. We've got a Velociraptor pack, and we've also got Obsidian Field, which increases all damage dealt by one. I'm going to say put that on the top of the deck. Uh, I will say put that one on the very bottom of the deck, and the other one I don't really care too much about. And then our power is one player draws two cards and then discards a card. I will give that draw to Legacy, who is going to be next. So, mutant damage from environment cards, and then one target for damage, and then we will discard motivational charge because we've already got one of those, and they are limited, so you can only have one of them in play, I believe. So, their turn. Oh, sorry, no, it's not their turn. It is the environment, which we know is going to be an obsidian field. So, yes, now more damage is going to occur. So you're not only fighting the main big bad villain, you're also sometimes, <laughs> the majority of the time, to be quite frank, fighting the environment as well. But this field could hopefully help us. So, uh, he's played one shot. Uh, Omnitron deals each hero target five projectile damage, destroy all hero ongoing cards. Wow, okay, that's powerful. Well, I'm just going to say choose for me because it's all uh, each hero, so I'm just going to say choose for me, so I, I can't make any choices here. So he's going to hit us for six damage across the board. This is going to hurt. That's going to hurt a lot. Maybe the obsidian field wasn't the way to go. But it does cut both ways because when I attack back, I'm going to be causing more damage as well. So there we go. There's all the damage. And um, it's going to play a drone from its trash, which we know is the assault drone, which will then hit us for some more damage. You can click to uh, skip the animations and stuff, and you can also speed up the animations in the options as well. So who do you want to hit? Um, I will say hit Legacy. And there's the Obsidian Field, not uh, not being very friendly. So, there's that again. Removing effects increases all damage. So, that's his... Uh, that's his galvanize ability there, his power. So I want to probably go for some healing. So maybe uh, one target, two melee damage, and receives one HP. So I'm going to put motivational charge in. Or do I want to do that? Uh, yes, I do. Because that should kill this drone. Because I'm going to fire that off. Oh, by the way, instead of double clicking and saying activate or use the power there, you can just click on it once and then click that there. So pretty good. Motivational charge. This should cause four damage. Two is standard and then one for obsidian field. Oh! Damn it, I've, I've not worked it out right. I was going to say one from Sidian Field and one from him, but I haven't activated his thing. But I do want to get this going because that'll take it down to one health and then heal everybody for one HP. It's a bit of a drop in the ocean, but it all helps out. There we go. And we've drawn a card of Flying Smash. So do I want to discard two cards to get rid of this? No, I do not. If I'm going to discard, it's going to be uh, the end character. So we've got loads of one shot. There's an ongoing Tempest deals each non-hero target two cold damage. We've got draw three cards. Uh, I'm going to use his ability there, which is um, one projectile damage, which will take two and two. Um, Destroy two environment cards. I don't want to do that. Do you want to do one shot? Yeah, one shot, draw three cards, because then that'll help us out for next turn. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. Okay, fine. So we'll do our one shot. So we'll just say choose for me, because it's going to do both of them anyway. So there's the three damage. Uh, gene bound shackles, there's four damage in total. Pretty good. I really like Tempest, the inhuman Tempest. And uh, the assault drone is now destroyed. And there we go. Ball lightning just pops up. Cool. No, we don't want to discard some more cards, and we continue on. Fnatic. So, uh, Holy Nova. Fnatic deals each non-hero target one radiant damage and heals for one. Don't think so. Uh, one, two mile damage and may give initial power. May use additional power this turn. Well, there's no point in that because I've only got one power. Any other powers? Um... I'm going to go with Divine Focus because it's ongoing. And I will use my power of exorcism. And uh, let's just attack there. So two damage, and then another two damage. But at the end of what, well, the start of the next turn, uh, this um, this one here, we don't want to discard that card. At the start of uh, Visionary's turn, we can get to, we can discard a card, and if we do, we uh, we end up. Um, we end up doing two radiant damage. What do I want to get rid of, though? I mean, they're all good. Probably... Um, final... No, that, that dive. So there's three damage. And that's every turn. 
<laughs> not her turn, every turn, which is why it's powerful. So loads of one shots. There's an ongoing. Play this card next to a target. Whenever the target will deal, um, whenever that target would deal damage, the damage type changes to a type of your choice by a choice, and is either reduced by one or increased by one of your choice. If the target is played, destroy the card. Well, I'm gonna place that on that on the main boss guy. There we go. Which is probably gonna be a bit annoying. Um, who's going to draw cards? Um, I don't know. Meanwhile, how many cards have we got? Five, seven, four, and three. I will say Fnatic. There's another relic. <laughs> Alright. So, Visionary. Um, discard a card. Well, I might as well get rid of the relic because it is limited. There we go. And don't want to discard any cards. Now it goes to the... Environment's turn, which again we can choose to discard some more cards, which I will say... What's that one? Fnatic deals itself up to 5 radiant damage and deals 1 tag X damage back, whereas X you might have taken. Yeah, that's really good. I like that one. I think we'll go for... Um, that one. Denying focus. I don't think we're going to be using that. So we're just going sort of hard hitting as best we can here. Oh, River of Lava. That's not good. So, end of the environment turn, each hero may destroy one of their equipment cards. Deal any hero that does not destroy an equipment card for fire damage at the start of the environment turn. If each, each player discards the top three cards of their deck, destroy the card. I will uh, just skip it. You know what? Everybody can take some damage. And I don't want to get rid of those shackles on Tempest because they're causing a lot of damage. So, there's the Obsidian Field kicking me hard. But, they're also... Uh, not doing great either. We'll go for the one shot there and again do some more damage. I'm just hitting them really hard there. There's a device drone, the S84 Automaton drones, which are definitely not Terminators. So they're going to play another card, which is even more drones. Uh, at the end of the villain turn, cards deal target with the highest X. Oh, so basically they're going to start hitting me for five damage each. Wow, okay. That's a bother. We're going to have to get rid of those. So we've already taken a lot of damage down. Oh, they've already taken a lot of damage. I'm probably going to... I don't think I can really honestly say that I can use that Martyr, but I am I do fancy keeping that. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm... Uh, yeah, because it's going to be three damage, so might as well, instead of five. And she's only got 15 health anyway, so there we are. Right, so what have we got? Ongoing and limited. No... No, ongoing. Lacey's mutant damage from environment cards. That would be good. Although we're going to get rid of that soon anyway. Ongoing. We'll go for that one. And I can either go for one target, two melee damage, and each heals, or we could fire up Galvanize again. Do I need to heal? Well, it would be. It would be good. Yeah, I think. I think so. I've had, however, I've, I really have had more success though by just using Galvanize constantly. But there's three damage, and hopefully the lightning will uh, deal with the rest of it. And if I keep doing this for a couple of turns, you know, that might be an extra turn I get. Let's not get rid of that Obsidian Field. So I will skip now that, um, I will skip that <laughs> um, Fanatic thing, because it's... Uh, being a bit problematic. Ongoing and limited. Start of your turn. Tempest deals non-hero target damage, one lightning damage. That immediately is getting played because the earlier you play that, the better. Let's do this um, uh, Tempest use Squall, which is it just hits everything. So I'm just going to say choose for me. So it's going to be hitting for uh, four on each one. In fact, yeah, I, I should have really, I shouldn't have not, I shouldn't have bothered with. Um, oh, it looks like it only works on that one. Yeah, that's okay then. I was going to say I probably shouldn't have. Uh, Used it. Shouldn't have hit the uh, the automated drone, but uh, it looks like it's worked out. So two damage left there. Do I want to discard cards? No. All right. So, um, divine focus. I'm going to skip that. Uh, do you want for to deal forward fire damage? No. It's now destroyed. I really don't care. So this relic. When this card is played, fanatic regains one HP. And also, power. Select melee, fire, or radiant as this card's damage type. Fnatic deals one target, three damage of that type. But if I put that into play, it'll do two damage to that. No, I think I think Absolution is probably the way forward, even though I can't move it over. One HP. And, um... 
see what cards they've got. Will I be able to do something in? I think I can. I really want to get rid of the drones, you see. Hmm. Probably not a good thing to put this uh, Twist the Ether onto the main guy because he never attacks directly. Always plays cards that do it for him. Um, so. Use that power. I want it to be radiant and attack the main guy. There we go. And I just need to make sure that the last thing that we do here is to take that out. Don't need to, could power through it, but four damage is uh, not great. One target, three physical damage, and looks like it's going to have to be that, isn't it? Not ideal, because it's going to be uh, four damage, but hey-ho, it's destroyed. Right, and their power I will use, and I will actually draw... Meanwhile, how many cards have I got? Two, three, three. Okay, so it's going to have to be probably the... Yeah, probably Fnatic. Final dive, we've seen that before. Zealous Offense, not bad. And discard a card. That's pretty good because that is all about um, stopping targets doing damage. I think we'll keep that then. Although, we're really just going for destruction, just destroy them all, so. Which might not be the best choice. Uh, do I want to destroy the obsidian field? Yes. Yes, I do. That one. We'll get rid of that one. And we'll get rid of... That one. Sure. So his other flip side is... Yeah. We need to get rid of his trash pile. Uh, do I discard three from the decks? Yes. Don't think we'll ever, I don't think we'll get decked in this one. I think we'll have enough cards because I think we're on... So oh, there's a volcanic eruption. Start of the environment turn. Lots of damage, which is... Yeah, good job It's at the start. So we have an option to stop that. Electropulse, explosive, 15. The start of the villain turn. This card deals each hero... Something or other, but I can't see it. Um, each hero, X lightning damage, which X is the current health of the card. Okay, so I know what we're going to be doing this entire turn. Um, so, which target is considered of the highest HP? It will be... Probably just say Visionary, she can take some damage. There we go. Although, didn't I have reduction in this one? No, I didn't. Um, so, a player may skip the rest of their turn to destroy this card. Volcanic Eruption. No, not you. So, think about this one. She can use this... Nah, I got rid of it. The one to... Well, the one I got rid of, I really want to... I really wish I hadn't now. Which one was it? I think it was that one. Zealous Offense, yeah. Start your turn, select up to two... Oh, at the start of your turn, select up to two non-character cards. Those targets cannot deal damage. Ah, so you have to play it earlier. Right, okay. So really, we're just going to have to smash those down again. So what's we'll it? One shot. Three damage, three melee damage each. Well, that's okay. We've also got ongoing limited here. And whacking. Mutant damage from legacy cards. Uh, from land cards. Four melee damage. It's going to have to be that one. So, I'll, there's, only three, there's only three targets, so I'll just start attacking. Here we go, confirm. Three damage. Confirm. And confirm. There we go. Right. And then I could... Heal, but I think use the power so everybody gets some more damage. Just to try and get that Electro Pulse Explosive down. This is the most... Um, I think I would probably say it is the easiest one to do. Um, oh, Tempest deals one lightning damage each non-hero target. I'll just say choose for me because it's going to attack everything. And we've also got yeah, it's doing four damage. Look at that! Wow. Yeah, I think this is the easiest one, easiest one to fight, or rather the simplest one to fight because it's just do a lot of damage. Although to be fair, I'm using four heroes, so maybe it's uh, more difficult with uh, less. I do I want to skip my entire turn in order to 
destroy the volcano? No, I don't. I want to continue attacking because this guy probably does the most damage of everything. Um, I can get rid of the card that way. Juice damage taken. More damage. Destroy up to two environment cards. Yeah, I could just play that and just destroy it instead of my turn. Oh, one shot. Deals one target four lightning damage and destroy up to two ongoing cards. Yep, probably one of the best cards in the game. I will say confirm. That'll be five damage. Whack. And then... Um, is that an ongoing ta card? I thought it was. Apparently not. I will just say skip then. That's a shame. Okay, so more damage, more better. Choose for me, because it's just going to do it on its own. Another four damage. So that's now half health. We managed to half health the thing. Good, good. Alright. And then Fnatic. Do I want to skip our entire turn? Um, no, I do not. But I do want to do... Um, Final dive. And then the damage that we... Because it was had four less health, we could do final dive. To get, that gets destroyed. You can see it's selected automatically. I didn't have to do that because it was only one choice. And then the damage that I did, uh, or the remaining health rather, we then get to uh, deflect onto Omnitron. Plus Legacy's Galvanize. And there we go. And we also have now... Um, the option to play this, which is going to be more damage. Uh, one target, three damage of that type, so it's going to be four. And that will be four, so it's not going to matter either way. I will say use that. And melee, because why not? Confirm. Four damage. 42 health. There we go. We will do that. And skip the turn. Yes, we will skip your turn. And eruption was destroyed. And obsidian field pops up. That's not too bad because it's got no cards to play and also oh and another obsidian field uh -oh. so that's plus two damage so if this guy starts playing cards that uh, start hitting at the end of its turn it's going to be bad oh dear that is the end of the turn oh omnitron heals okay that's not too bad and that's bad every time a player draws a hero card there's two health let me read that a second Ongoing component. Every time a player draws a hero card, Omnitron deals the hero one energy damage. So this card when Omnitron is dealt seven or more damage in one round since this card entered play. Okay, well, I can do three, four, five. I can do four, five, six damage. Not gonna happen. Six damage ain't good enough. Is that right? One, two, and the Galvanize is gone. Uh, so we got Bolster Allies, draw a card, Mint damage. Do I really want to? I think we'll be doing Galvanize, or maybe heal this turn. Yeah, that one, because heal, that'll be two damage taken up before I'll kill the drone. Yeah. Um. And we'll just go for ongoing, we'll go for the strength there. So use power. So that'll be five damage. Why surge of strength? Where does that come from? Oh, because of that one I've just played, obviously. And there's the healing. But now, do you want to draw a card? I will say no, because otherwise I'll take some more damage. Do you want to discard cards? No. No, I don't. Keep them in play. Um, so there's the electrical storm. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, okay. So maybe, yeah, I, I, sh I should have played that better and uh, wait for the electrical storm to hit it because it does hit everybody, does it? Yeah, each non hero target. Yeah, that's my mistake. Okay. I mean, I'm sure I'm making stupid amounts of mistakes in this one, but because uh, we're playing on Breezy Easy, it doesn't really matter too much. How many of these have we got? <laughs> Lords. Um, how many envir uh, How many? What's How much can I hit for? Not much at all. Select one non-indestructible villain card in play other than the character card and put it on the top of the villain deck. Tempest deals the villain target damage of the highest HP to projectile. Okay, well that will actually... That will get rid of that card then. So that goes. 
And then we hit that, and then we hit Omnitron for six. Perfect, that's exactly what we wanted. And then we'll do this one as well, Squall. And that's going to be another five damage. The amount of damage Tempest kicks out is unreal. <laughs> I do like uh, Bunker as well, which is the Iron Man type thing. You've got different modes, so it's pretty good. Uh, this one here, you can deal yourself damage and then hit back. Now, that could be... Should we go absolutely insane because... If I play that card, right, we get to choose, or if we, if we, if we power that, we'd take five, we could say five damage, six, seven to ourselves, because this counts as an attack, and then we'd hit it back for nine. <laughs> um, I mean, we might as well, right? So, five damage, so five, six, seven for the obsidian field, so we take that much damage, but we hit them for nine. So seven, then obsidian field, so it stacks. I think I hit for about 11 or 12 with one of them before. It was great. That was with the uh, galvanize going and another another uh, ongoing thing as well. So again, we don't want to get rid of that. We got, uh, it's on 19 now, so I don't think we'll be able to strike this turn, but we should be close. Um, so I'll put the villain trash on the bottom of the villain deck. Vision deals itself X psychic damage for where X is the number of cards removed from the trash this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage you take. But that means they won't be able to. Um... I don't think we'll be able to play. One card a component is revealed. Ah, yeah. And does it say. Uh... Put the villain trash in the bottom of the villain. Oh! Oh! So we'd actually take. 9 damage, but then that he wouldn't be able to play anything. We'd be almost dead, though. I'm going to play a suggestion instead. Put one on the... top. We'll probably go for the... Probably the, guy, the little healing drone. And... That one. So, top of the deck drawn and there we go and then we'll use our ability to draw yes there's some just straight out damage and then some of the stuff I'll uh, probably get rid of probably get rid of brain drain I don't think that's useful and then another mind spike and do we want to discard these cards no we'll just keep it in play because I think if we keep them in play we should be able to get that guy down next turn uh, River of Lava, again, good. So that's going to be 6 damage on everybody. I will just say, skip and take the damage, hoping that we can just power through it. Superhuman Durability kicked in as well, that's good. So just skip all this. It's good you can just like, click a click and skip through all of the animations. It's not that they're bad, it's just like with everything, that, you know, you just want to get through the, game, the actual game. <laughs> 3 HP and he's going to whack them. 6. Wow, okay. Very close to dying, actually. 6 health. So it's going to be all or nothing this turn. So, do we want to just smash that down? Well, we can't. We can't. Now, I'm going to remember this guy again. He does do... Uh, he's going to kill these. So we just need to smash down the main guy. So it's going to be... That's 4 melee damage. That's 3. So quite frankly, it's going to be... Um, do as much damage as we can. 7, in fact. Wham. Look at that. Boom. 15 health left. And then we will say galvanize, because why not? Because I don't think the extra health is going to help us. Just give me a lot of damage we're taking now. Discard a card, no. Discard cards, no. There we go. And then <laughs> choose for me. This is where it all kicks off. So he's going to do, what, five damage now? Six damage, because of the obsidian field. That's just the at the start of his turn. That's why I said uh, when I first played, as soon as I drew it, we're playing it now because it just, it matters, you know, there's no point in playing it later in the game. Because um, now it's just so powerful, especially with the Osudian field, that we don't have to worry about it, it just cracks on. Look, it's just destroyed two drones like that. Uh, by the way, this guy's special, the boss. If you don't take out the drones, then it stays in place, so you need to make sure that um, you take it out. Is that lightning? Uh, five lightning damage. Oh, that'll kill it! There we go, ten damage. <laughs> God, Tempest is OP. I don't know. If, I, I can't call that. I haven't played the game enough to make that sort of...
decision. But either way, that is Omnitron destroyed, and there's a win, and loads of achievements, because as I said, I've never played on this edition before. And there we go. That is one destroyed big bad robot. And we've now let the dinosaurs rule the world, so it's, yeah, it's either, um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know whether it's on Goro Crater or some random off-world place or just, you know, uh, Ian Malcolm's flying around or something, or John Hammond. But either way, that is the end of that. That has been a bit of Sentinels of the Multiverse. Like I said, I really like it. I, uh, I, <laughs> I, I originally, when I looked at it, thought, well, yeah, it's very derivative stuff, but that's obviously on purpose. It's, it's, it's to its... It's to its uh, favour rather than detriment because, you know, you look at all of the things, if you know you have your favourite superhero or whatever, you go, I like that one, and you can pretty much get the same analogue in here. Uh, but yeah, I, I, just, I just really think it's quite good. Uh, I'm going to certainly check out some of the expansions and stuff and uh, see what it's like. Obviously, my play in this one has been uh, subpar to say the least because it normally is, especially on these sort of uh, car games, but... Uh, I'm sure playing some more, I won't be as terrible. Either way, if you have enjoyed the video, links are in the description, so you can check the uh, game out yourself. Thank you very much for watching, take care, and generic partings. <laughs>